them right now. Let's talk about the AMD Threadripper Pro 59, 5995WX. It's the new 64 core Zen 3, and it's now the fastest chip ever tested with Passmark Benchmark. Awesome. So AMD's recently launched Threadripper Pro 5995WX flagship workstation CPU is shattering various performance benchmarks. One such example is the Passmark CPU benchmark, where the chip has outperformed every other chip by a huge margin. AMD Threadripper Pro 5995WX is the ultimate and fastest CPU ever in Passmark benchmark, all thanks to the power of 64 Zen 3 cores. The AMD Threadripper Pro 5995WX is a beast of a chip. It is based on the 7 nanometer Zen 3 architecture and features a total of 9 chiplets, which include 8 CCDs and a single I.O. die. Each of the CCDs is fully configured with 8 Zen 3 cores each for a total of 64 cores and 128 threads. The CPU is clocked at a 2.7 gigahertz base and 4.5 gigahertz boost frequency. Other specifications include a 256 megabyte L3 cache, holy moly, and 32 megabytes of L2 cache for a total of 288 megabytes of cache, 128 PCIe Gen 4 lanes, and a TDP of 280 watts, which considering the specifications, I'm going to be honest with you guys, doesn't sound that bad to me. The CPU offers up to eight channel DDR4 memory support for up to two terabyte capacity support and comes in a 280 watt TDP package. They double, they double release that. Here's the whole line. You have the 5995, which is the 64 core. You have the 5975, which is going to be your 32 core 64 thread. You have the 5965, which is the 24 core, the 5955, which is the 16 core and the 5945, which is the 12 core. We're looking at a March release. So obviously it's getting close to release because we are seeing benchmark leaks of it. Downside is I can't afford one to test. I want to set up a GoFundMe. So over, I just can't. <laughs> I set up a GoFundMe so we can test this in some mining benchmarks because the price is going to be close to five to 6,000 US dollars considering all, considering all those hefty specifications. Is it worth it? I mean, if you, you know, they well, you know what they say about big trucks, big chips are better though. Look at this. We're talking about, the 108,000, they broke the 100,000 mark in pass mark, which is beating out their own chip, the Epic 7763, by 20,000 points, which is, I mean, really, if you look at it easily by like 20%. It just smashes everything on the board. And Epic and, and Threadripper have been doing this for a while. As you can see, there's really no Intel on there. Holy smokes, boys. This is exciting. This is really cool. This is the kind of thing that I wish I was still at my old job for because I would get to play with these. Unfortunately, I don't think I'll be able to afford one. But, ah. Uh, all right, so it says currently a timed exclusive to Lenovo's P620 workstation and only works on their platforms. This is the downside of it, by the way, that I did want to talk about. Linus Tech Tips already addressed it, so I'm sure a lot of you guys are aware that not only are we not seeing a, a consumer-grade Threadripper, but even the workstation grade th thread rippers will not be sold to the consumer uh, separately. You'll have to actually go in and purchase a workstation from one of their partners, whether that be something like Lenovo or Dell or, or HP. And that's the only way you're going to be able to get these chips, which is highly disappointing. And of course, they're coming in at incredible price premiums. So 
I always have been around the market in the form of like whatever's best. I'm like, that's what I'm about. I really like that sort of thing. But there would always be kind of the arguments between AMD and Intel and everybody would always be kind of like AMD is this altruistic company that sells good price to performance. But that was just their strategy to get on top clearly because as soon as they're on top, what do they start doing? All the same business practices that Intel has already been doing for the longest time. And unfortunately, it, it doesn't seem like unless we get, you know, a third CPU manufacturer out here to mix up in the competition that these two are going to, you know, keep the consumer at the top of their mind ever, unfortunately. So it is what it is. The chip sounds really cool. Obviously, it's the most powerful chip currently available that we've ever seen, but most of us will never see it or be able to touch it. And that's just the way it is. I hope you enjoyed this clip from the Crypto Mining Morning Show every Monday through Friday, 7.45 a.m. Pacific and 10.45 a.m. Eastern Time. You can check out more clips here, or if you're interested in checking out the entire live show, you can check that out down here. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next Tuesday.